Okay, this is going to be a re-gearing of the SC4 lathe. Right now, the way it's configured is the normal uh, feed rate that you use uh, for turning. <coughs> and um, probably can't see it on the, on the uh, thread chart here. But it's zero, or sorry, it's two thousandths of an inch per rotation. And that is accomplished by an, an A, B, C, D of 30, which is the one I need, 120, 80, and um, 100. I think that's right. Nope, sorry, it's another 120. <coughs> so I'm going to change this over to the gears that I need to thread a 32. Uh, TPI, and we'll see where I'll show you where we get to. There's going to be a lot more of that kind of mistake as we go, I'm sure. So, the here we go. So, take off this 120, take off this um, 60, I think I said it 80 a minute ago, that's not right, and um, you can see that the 120 uh, engages with the 32 A gear. Now we stick on the 127. Got to get the keyway lined up. And right away, when I go to use the 80, you can see the issue. Okay, so we're going to let this down a little bit. So I can work on it. Loosen up the, the uh, T-nut here that holds this <coughs> and slide this out until I can get the gears to engage. And there's 80, 127, 120 in the back and the 30. You don't really need to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. It don't go anywhere. By the way, you can probably hear that the power is on. Uh, it's probably bad form to do this with the power on. Um, I'm also doing it a lot, so kind of got used to it. What happens is when I loosen this up so that I can put it back into position. The B gear never touches the A gear because it interferes with this bushing. <clears throat> I've taken this cover off and taken the bushing off. There's a, a keyway uh, in, the, in the gear and, and a key in the shaft and the key will hit the B gear. So I can turn this on and you can see it doesn't turn anything. <clears throat> um, just for grins, because I've, I mentioned this before, I'm going to go ahead and um, slide this a little farther. Take this off and put a 100 gear on there, which happens to come up right here. Bring the 200 back, or sorry, the 127 
back until it contacts it. And now you'll see <clears throat> that it doesn't even get as close as it did before. It hits the, uh, I guess, enclosure over some of the electronics there, judging by the warning sign. And uh, it won't even get any closer to this. So my experience is that once I get above uh, 70 teeth here, um, which is uh, before, it's a coarser pitch than 32. Once I get past that on this position, I can never get this to engage again. Um, If I loosen this up, bring that in, get the gear into the position where it might actually rotate and, and grab it, <clears throat> I can't. It's, it's too close. I can't push this gear far enough out there. So I clear the housing here. Sorry, this is the wrong gear. This is the 80. I'm back where I started from. The 100 for the, uh, for the 40 TPI. Um, I can't push that far enough out to get the gears to mesh and certainly not to grab that. So it appears that the thing is just incapable of doing those threads. That's about all I got to show.